Dubai has been hit by a once-in-a-generation superstorm. Nearly two years' worth of rain has fallen in a single day, causing chaos on the road and on the runway. Dubai, the bustling metropolis known for its luxury and splendor, has just been thrown into chaos by a terrifying event. The once vibrant city has been closed down, leaving both residents and tourists in panic and disbelief. The details of the incident are shrouded in mystery, leaving everyone wondering what on earth could have caused such a commotion in this playground of the rich and famous, as the city that never sleeps now lies dormant and silent. But what really happened? And more importantly, can Dubai recover from this terrifying ordeal? The mighty nation. When you think of Dubai, what comes to mind? Luxury, opulence, and wealth, right? Well, you're not wrong. In fact, you're spot on. Dubai is the epitome of extravagance and prosperity, and it's not afraid to flaunt it. Its rapid transformation from a small fishing village to a global powerhouse has been nothing short of extraordinary. With its gleaming skyscrapers, luxurious hotels, and innovative infrastructure, Dubai has captivated the world with its ambition and opulence. Dubai's rise to prominence can be attributed to its strategic location, visionary leadership, and relentless pursuit of excellence. Situated at the crossroads of Europe, Asia, and Africa, Dubai has emerged as a crucial hub for trade, finance, and tourism. Its strategic location has enabled it to connect with markets across the globe, making it an indispensable link in the global supply chain. With an economy that's growing at lightning speed, boasting a GDP of over $100 billion, Dubai is a force to be reckoned with. And while the city was once heavily reliant on oil revenues, it has successfully diversified into sectors such as finance, real estate, tourism, and aviation. The city is home to some of the most impressive architectural marvels in the world, including the Burj Khalifa, standing at a mind-boggling 820 meters. And then there's the Burj Al Arab, often called the world's only seven-star hotel. And let's not forget about the Palm Jumeirah, an artificial archipelago that's a testament to Dubai's innovative spirit and engineering strength. Because when Dubai wants an island, it doesn't wait around for nature to make one, it just builds its own. Dubai is also renowned for its extravagant shopping malls, none more impressive than the massive Dubai Mall, the largest mall in the world by total area. With over 1,200 shops, an awe-inspiring aquarium, and even an indoor ice rink, this is a testament to the city's unrivaled dedication to luxury and excess living in Dubai means embracing a lifestyle of unparalleled extravagance. The city offers some of the most luxurious living standards in the world, boasting high-end residential areas, world-class amenities, and a nightlife that pulsates with energy and glamour. It is a melting pot of cultures, with over 200 nationalities living and working in the city, creating a vibrant tapestry of diversity that adds to its allure. Not to mention the millions of visitors who flock to this utopia of wealth and sophistication each year. But Dubai is not just about indulgence. It is also at the forefront of technological innovation. Initiatives like Smart Dubai are propelling the city towards its vision of becoming the happiest and smartest city on Earth. With all these dazzling array of innovations and wealth beyond measure, Dubai seems invincible, but even the mighty are not immune to adversity. Despite its wealth and technological prowess, Dubai is facing its share of disastrous incidents that have shaken its very foundation. Now, this mighty nation finds itself at the mercy of fate, teetering on the edge of uncertainty. So what are these terrifying events that have threatened the very existence of this mighty nation? Is there any hope for Dubai to reclaim its former glory and rise from the ashes of adversity? Or is this the end, the apocalyptic? In a terrifying turn of events, the land of sand became a world of water. A city known for its opulence and grandeur was brought to its knees by an unexpected and terrifying force, water. Over the course of just 48 hours, Dubai experienced the heaviest rainfall it had seen in over 75 years. Let that sink in for a moment. 75 years. This wasn't just a little sprinkle here and there. It was a massive downpour that left the city struggling to cope. The aftermath of the storms was nothing short of apocalyptic. The once pristine streets and buildings were transformed into rivers and lakes, with outdoor infrastructure submerged under feet of water. 
Can you imagine trying to call a taxi when the sidewalk has become a swimming pool? The damage was extensive, to say the least. Furniture was flung from balconies by gale-force winds, luxury cars were abandoned on roads that had turned into waterways, and residents living high up could barely see past their own balconies. It was like a scene from a horror movie, with darkness enveloping the city in the middle of the afternoon. The rain that fell in just one day was roughly twice the UAE's yearly average. And if that wasn't enough, one region south of the city received a whopping 25 cm of rain in just 24 hours. To put that into perspective, Dubai's average annual rainfall is less than 10 cm. Now you might be thinking, but isn't heavy rainfall over the desert landscape of the Gulf a rare occurrence? Well, you'd be partially correct. While heavy rainfall isn't unheard of, Dubai's weather infrastructure was completely unprepared for the worst rain it had seen since 1949. Residents were even warned via a public alert system, but it seems no one could have predicted the sheer magnitude of the storms that descended upon the city. This terrifying incident left residents and visitors in a state of chaos and confusion. The usually bustling city came to a standstill, and government employees were even instructed to work from home. Everywhere was closed. Private firms closed and worked from home, schools were closed, and it was so hard to see any shop open. The streets were so quiet as people sought refuge from the impending disaster. The official death toll in the UAE stood at just one person, but the impact of the storm was felt far and wide. Dubai International Airport, the world's second busiest airport, was one of the hardest hit. With nearly 90 million people passing through its gates annually, the airport is a vital hub for travel to the Gulf and connecting flights to destinations around the world. However, the storm brought the airport to its knees, turning the airport into a chaotic scene. Planes were grounded as a flooded taxiway prevented them from reaching the runway, leaving passengers stranded in the terminal building. One harrowing account came from a 41-year-old traveler and her 13-year-old daughter, who found themselves in limbo as they attempted to make their way back to the UK from Vietnam via Dubai. After circling over the Gulf for two and a half hours, they finally landed at another Dubai airport in the dead of night, with little explanation or reassurance. The 41-year-old woman remembered the terror of being caught in a frenzied stampede as many panicked people pushed and fought for a seat on the bus. The chaos and desperation were clear, making them feel like they had no control over the situation. The situation at the airport was dire, to say the least. Passengers clamored for water and food only to find none available. It was a nightmare scenario, with no end in sight. Just imagine cars that are symbols of freedom and mobility, suddenly transformed into watery graves, and their interiors filled with relentless torrents of water. Hundreds of motorists found themselves trapped in this aquatic nightmare, forced to abandon their vehicles and swim for their lives. Some cars were completely submerged, their roofs barely visible above the water's surface, but the terror didn't stop there. The storm invaded homes, driving people out onto the streets in search of refuge. But what could have caused this catastrophic storm? What could possibly cause such a dramatic weather event in a place known for its dry climate? Could it be the wrath of nature itself, or something far more sinister? The cause. There's been a lot of talk about cloud seeding, some people are pointing their fingers at cloud seeding as the cause of the recent storm in Dubai. But is there any truth to this claim? Cloud seeding is not some magical incantation to summon rain or snow. It's actually a scientific process where substances are dispersed into the air to encourage cloud condensation and precipitation. In other words, it's an attempt to play Mother Nature and make it rain. Now, why would anyone want to mess with nature in such a way? Well. Proponents of cloud seeding argue that it can help alleviate droughts, mitigate the impact of hailstorms, and even clear the air of pollutants. Sounds pretty cool, but not everyone is convinced some skeptics believe that cloud seeding can have unintended consequences, such as altering weather patterns or causing environmental harm. And in the case of Dubai's recent storm, these skeptics are pointing their fingers at cloud seeding as the culprit. But do they have any evidence? Well, it turns out that Dubai has been actively involved in cloud seeding for quite some time. 
In fact, the UAE has been using cloud seeding technology since the early 2000s as part of its efforts to increase rainfall in the region. The United Arab Emirates has been known to send planes into the clouds, scattering tiny particles in the hopes of coaxing out some much-needed rain. And it's not just Dubai. Countries around the world have been dabbling in cloud seeding for decades. But authorities in the United Arab Emirates have been quick to deny any connection between the record rainfall and cloud seeding. They insist that this was simply a natural weather event, turbocharged by none other than climate change. Some scientists backed up the authorities' claims. According to them, it was a well-predicted storm, and apparently, we should have all seen it coming. They also came out with different theories, and still insist they're not buying into this whole cloud seeding explanation. One of their explanations involves something called a mesoscale convective system. Basically, it's a series of medium-sized thunderstorms caused by massive thunderclouds. These systems can develop when heat draws moisture up into the atmosphere, resulting in heavy rainfall. But the truth is, this storm is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the terrifying things that could potentially shut down Dubai. There are some other underlying issues lurking beneath the surface, ready to wreak havoc on this mighty nation. So, what are these ominous threats? Well, let's take a closer look. Oil crisis. Dubai, the land of luxury and opulence, has long been a shining star in the Gulf region. But beneath the glitz and glamour lies a ticking time bomb that could spell trouble for the city's economy. You see, Dubai has always prided itself on not relying heavily on oil like its neighboring Gulf countries. This meant that the city had to hustle and find other ways to make money. And hustle it did with its booming tourism, real estate, and financial sectors. But here's the catch. While Dubai was busy diversifying its economy, it was also reaping the benefits of being the go-to destination for Gulf countries to spend their oil money. But now, the latest report by the IMF has sounded the alarm bells, warning that the Gulf countries are facing a serious financial crisis. It seems that their oil money may dry up before the actual oil does. Their financial reserves could dry up by 2034. And guess who's going to feel the heat? Dubai. But what's the reason behind this impending crisis? Well, it's simple. Global demand for oil is plummeting faster than a lead balloon. With the rise of renewable energy and a shift towards cleaner fuel sources, the days of black gold reigning supreme are numbered. And while the Gulf countries have been splurging their oil riches like there's no tomorrow, their oil revenues are dwindling faster than a melting ice cream cone in the desert heat. So what does this mean for Dubai? Well. For starters, it means that the gravy train of Gulf money may soon come to a screeching halt. With their own coffers running dry, the Gulf countries won't have as much to splash out in Dubai. And let's face it, Dubai thrives on being the playground for the rich and famous. If the rich suddenly aren't as rich anymore, Dubai's economy could take a serious hit. But that's not all. Dubai has enjoyed a near monopoly in the region when it comes to attracting investment and business. With its state-of-the-art infrastructure and business-friendly policies, it was the obvious choice for companies looking to set up shop in the Gulf. However, with the Gulf countries tightening their belts, Dubai may soon find itself facing some stiff competition from its neighbors, who are also looking to attract investment to prop up their faltering economies. And most of these Gulf countries are taking serious actions already. Some have jumped on the bandwagon of economic restructuring. Saudi Arabia, for example, has its Vision 2030, and everyone else is announcing their own grand plans to reduce their oil dependency and diversify their economies. And the problem is, they've all decided to take a page from Dubai's playbook. They're basically copying Dubai's economic model like it's the latest fashion trend. And we all know what happens when everyone starts wearing the same outfit at a party. It's just not as cool anymore. They're opening up their doors, relaxing their laws and regulations, pouring money into flashy construction projects, and doing everything to attract tourists and investors. With the playing field becoming increasingly crowded, Dubai will need to find new ways to differentiate itself and maintain its competitive edge. But the problem here is not just oil or the Gulf countries. Another big challenge is Dubai's real estate real estate crisis. 
For years, investors have flocked to this desert city in search of lucrative opportunities drawn in by the promise of high returns in a rapidly growing environment. But as we speak, Dubai's real estate market is facing a conundrum that could spell trouble for the city's economic strength. The latest buzz in town revolves around the surge in off-plan property sales. The reality is, buying these kinds of properties has always been a bit unpredictable in Dubai's housing market. On one hand, they offer investors the chance to snag a property at a bargain price before it's even built, which is pretty tempting. But on the flip side, they've also been associated with risky moves, where buyers swoop in with minimal down payments, only to flip the properties for a quick profit. It's like a real estate version of buy low, sell high on steroids. Historically, off-plan sales have accounted for a modest 20 to 40% of total transactions in Dubai. However, the current cycle has thrown us a curveball, with off-plan transactions outpacing delivered properties by a significant margin. Now, if that doesn't stir up some concern, we don't know what will. The UBS report titled Dubai Real Estate says, strong momentum for now, but rising risks ahead. This report shines a spotlight on the precarious nature of this off-plan frenzy. Sure, there have been some regulatory changes aimed at reining in the exuberance, like increased down payments and extended holding periods, but the massive volume of off-plan sales still has experts puzzled. After all, too much of a good thing can quickly turn into a not-so-good thing, especially when it comes to price volatility and the dreaded market bubbles. And if history has taught us anything, it's that unchecked exuberance often leads to a rude awakening. Remember the global financial crisis of 2008? Yeah, let's not go down that rabbit hole again. The same report has highlighted the vulnerability of Dubai's real estate market to global economic conditions. A global recession or a sudden plunge in oil prices could send shockwaves through the market, triggering a significant correction in property prices. But hold on a minute. What does the price of oil have to do with real estate? Apparently, everything. Dubai's extravagant expansion, towering skyscrapers and lavish developments were largely financed by the city's oil revenues. So when the oil money dries up, the real estate sector becomes heavily reliant on foreign investment and property purchases. And if for some reason the flow of Gulf money dries up, these glittering edifices could turn into nothing more than expensive liabilities. The real estate's whole system hinges on a steady flow of cash. While this may sound like a typical scenario for any real estate market, Dubai takes it to a whole new level with its massive construction projects. Just to put things into perspective, Dubai, with its population of about 3.6 million, has been building more houses on average than both London and New York combined. Now that's ambitious. To make things even more intense, a whopping 90% of Dubai's population is made up of expats who came to the city for work. However, since obtaining Emirati citizenship is about as likely as finding a unicorn, these expats are essentially temporary residents. Sooner or later, they'll leave and say goodbye to the city of gold. If the allure of Dubai as a business hub fades and investors start looking elsewhere, the domino effect on the real estate sector could be catastrophic. So what are the signs pointing to this impending crisis? Well, for starters, there's the fact that Dubai's economy is heavily reliant on not just one, but three key pillars, trade, tourism, and real estate. If any one of these pillars starts to wobble, the entire economic structure is at risk of crumbling. Then there's the issue of oversupply. With more housing units than you can shake a stick at, Dubai is facing a surplus that could spell disaster for property prices. But Dubai has proven time and again its resilience in the face of adversity. The city has weathered economic storms in the past and emerged stronger each time, so hopefully this time wouldn't be different. But there's one big challenge. High debt. Another looming economic threat that could bring this city down to its knees is high debt. Dubai, known for its rapid development and massive projects like the Burj Khalifa and Palm Jumeirah, has been playing a risky game with its finances. Take the Burj Khalifa, for example. The construction of this iconic skyscraper cost a whopping $1.5 billion. And let's not forget about the Palm Jumeirah project, a man-made island in Dubai, which had a construction cost of around $12 billion. Where did you think they got all the money for these extravagant ventures? Oil? No. 
Well, let's just say they didn't exactly have a piggy bank lying around. These ambitious projects left Dubai drowning in a sea of debt. Besides the 2009 financial crisis, Dubai also has a high debt to GDP ratio, with estimates suggesting it equates to around 67% of its GDP. That's like carrying around a giant debt backpack everywhere you go. To put it into perspective, Dubai has substantial loan repayments due over the next few years, amounting to around $78 billion. That's enough money to make anyone break out in a cold sweat. And while Dubai is making moves to settle this debt, the big question remains. What happens if they don't succeed? The repercussions of Dubai's high debt are no laughing matter. It could lead to a domino effect of financial instability, affecting not only the city itself, but also sending shockwaves through the global economy. At the domestic level, a default on loan repayments could undermine investor confidence and lead to a tightening of credit conditions, making it more challenging for businesses and individuals to access financing. This, in turn, could dampen economic activity and hinder the city's ability to sustain its ambitious growth trajectory. Also, Dubai's reputation as a global business and tourism hub could suffer if its financial stability comes into question. Investors may become wary of committing capital to projects in the region, while tourists and expatriates may reconsider their engagement with a city facing financial uncertainty. Such a scenario could have far-reaching implications for Dubai's long-term competitiveness and attractiveness as a destination for investment and talent. Environmental concerns. This is the Dubai you know. A city of dreams, where skyscrapers pierce the sky, money flows like water with crazy mega-projects, never-ending constructions, and luxury rising from the desert sands. But behind the shiny exterior, Dubai's smart decisions have led to a serious economic mess. The city's remarkable growth over the past few decades has come at a cost to its natural environment. From air and water pollution to waste management and urban development, Dubai is grappling with a range of environmental challenges that require immediate attention and sustainable solutions. Take, for example, the iconic Burj Khalifa. This towering symbol of Dubai's ambition has recently encountered a rather unpleasant problem. Its sewage system is struggling to cope with the sheer volume of human waste being produced. In fact, it has been calculated that more than seven tons of waste are being produced each day, and the current infrastructure just can't seem to handle it. Although they solved the problem, was it a permanent solution? Dubai's ambitious project, the World Islands, is facing a sinking reality. This artificial archipelago, designed to look like the countries of the world, was once a grand sight visible from space. However, reports now show that this elaborate development is gradually being worn away by erosion and is sinking. The original idea for the world was incredibly lavish. It was meant to be a playground for the ultra-wealthy, featuring luxury hotels and exclusive homes. Accessible only by boats and mega-yachts, these islands represented the peak of luxury. At one point, 70% of the 300 islands had been sold, with eager investors clamoring to claim their own piece of this man-made paradise. However, as reports of sinking islands began to make headlines, the once thriving development came to a standstill, except for Greenland, which is still under construction because, well, the ruler of Dubai lives there. At least that's what the tabloids claim. Rumor has it that the very sand used to create these islands is now betraying them, slipping back into the sea from whence it came. The channels between the islands are filling in, spelling doom for this once grand endeavor. If this continues, the world will quite literally return to the depths from which it emerged. It's like that saying from the Bible. It's a foolish man who builds his house on sand or something like that. Well, someone should have taken that advice to heart. But there's another big issue. Disturbing rising sea levels. As global temperatures continue to rise due to climate change, the polar ice caps are melting at an alarming rate, leading to an increase in sea levels worldwide. This phenomenon poses a serious risk to low-lying coastal cities like Dubai, making it imperative for the city to take proactive measures to mitigate the potential impact of rising sea levels. The threat of rising sea levels to Dubai is multifaceted and has the potential to affect various aspects of the city's infrastructure, economy, and environment. 
One of the most immediate concerns is the impact on coastal erosion and inundation of low-lying areas. Dubai's iconic coastline, which is dotted with luxury hotels, residential properties and commercial developments, is at risk of being eroded by the encroaching sea. Additionally, low-lying areas such as the Palm Jumeirah and the World Islands are particularly vulnerable to inundation, posing a threat to billions of dollars' worth of real estate and infrastructure. Imagine Dubai, the sparkling gem of the Middle East, gradually being swallowed by rising ocean waters. It might sound like the storyline of a disaster movie, but scientists are warning that this could actually happen if global climate change isn't controlled. The city's critical infrastructure, including its ports, airports, and transportation networks, could be severely impacted by rising sea levels. The port of Jebel Ali, one of the largest man-made harbors in the world, is a vital hub for international trade and commerce. However, the port faces the risk of increased flooding and storm surges as sea levels rise, potentially disrupting global supply chains and maritime activities. Similarly, Dubai International Airport, one of the busiest airports in the world, is located close to the coastline and could be susceptible to flooding and damage from extreme weather events associated with rising sea levels. Beaches could vanish, streets could flood with salt water, and the once sandy landscape could transform into a watery world, disrupting the city's clean drinking water supply. Not to mention the impact on those stunning oceanfront views that Dubai is famous for. Imagine the luxurious beachfront hotels and glamorous malls by the water, suddenly submerged by the relentless tide. Residents living near the coast may find themselves facing the harsh reality of having to relocate as their homes become increasingly vulnerable. This could exacerbate the gap between the haves and have-nots, putting additional strain on already limited resources. But it's not just about the impact on humans. The rising seas could also wreak havoc on the unique plants and animals that call Dubai's shores home. These natural barriers play a crucial role in protecting the city from storms and waves, and their loss could leave Dubai even more exposed to the forces of nature. Dubai stands to lose a great deal if the ocean continues its relentless advance, but the threat of rising seas is just one of the many challenges posed by our changing climate. Extreme heat is another formidable foe. As temperatures soar, it becomes increasingly difficult to keep the city cool and habitable. The very foundations of Dubai's success, its status as a hub for tourism and business, could be at risk if visitors and residents alike are driven away by scorching temperatures. Water scarcity is yet another pressing concern. With limited freshwater sources and a growing population, Dubai faces an uphill battle to ensure an adequate supply of clean water for its residents. The prospect of rising seas contaminating these precious reserves only adds to the city's woes. Then there's the specter of extreme weather events. Powerful storms and cyclones fueled by warmer ocean temperatures pose a direct threat to Dubai's infrastructure and residents. The city's resilience will be put to the test as it grapples with the aftermath of such destructive forces. But all is not lost. Dubai has always been a city of innovation and ambition. Perhaps it can harness its spirit of ingenuity to find creative solutions to protect itself and keep the city from closing down. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to our channel. For a more thrilling story, click now on the next video that pops up on your screen.